So, yeah. nice to meet you. The series is amazing. I was very anxious, but it's incredible, really. <laughs> so I'm so happy, yeah. <laughs> also happy for you. And my first question is, what's your first memory about Tolkien, about his uh, books or maybe movies or something else? I guess everybody has a different. Yeah, opinion. for sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, I kind of, I, you know, you guys sort of could have grown up on Tolkien, whereas I, I didn't. I, hey, sorry. wait a minute. <laughs> so rude. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, my dad is a fan of um, the Lord of the Rings, so he would he would always have it on, and I would walk around the house. I never really sat down and watched it, but I, I knew of the Lord of the Rings as the show with. Uh, someone get, loses his finger and there's Gollum. That's, that's all I knew of it until I got this role and then I and then I watched the trilogy. Because you're young, young, and we're than the not. <laughs> I've heard it before. Are you? Um, well, I well, as you said, 20, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, when the movies came about, that was my first introduction to Tolkien. Uh, I hadn't read the books. There was, there's no knowledge of him in my household, to be mm -hmm. honest. Uh, so the movies were the first uh, interaction that I had, and it was, I mean, it was just mind blowing. Mm. Like the in, like the, the the trilogy specifically was mind blowing. The, I remember most particularly the music. The music was so incredible. Mm. It was I could listen to it just on its own and have my own journey in my head. So it became very magical. And after that, I I was okay. completely sold that I had to be one day an elf. So, and here we are. <laughs> How much about you? I, f the first exposure to, my first exposure to Tolkien was also the movies and they revolutionized film, so they were incredible. And, and then when I got this job, I did a deep dive and uh, I can safely say I'm a huge fan now. Okay. My brother bringing in a DVD with a very exciting cover on it. And I think I was very young, but I was so intrigued by it. I remember Frodo's face on it. And I was like, what is this? What is this? And he was like, oh, it's a story about this, this sort of quest that, that, that a, a few uh, fellowship goes on. And I was like, okay. Um, so I watched it, and it just was this magical experience that I had as a kid that just ignited my imagination and my sort of, sort of this kind of wanderlust that I've been searching for ever since. Mm -hmm. um, but I always return back to those books, and it's just, it's that experience for me that mm -hmm. I think I had and that I've now been reliving through this experience and it's very surreal very dreamlike mm -hmm. uh, what about you yeah i guess um, 2001 fellowship of the ring uh, when i went to the cinema and it kind of transcended any experience that i ever had trying to relive my childhood <laughs> and so <laughs> yeah the first thing i did actually was go up to the woods <laughs> <laughs> where I'm from, I'm going to try and climb a tree. <laughs> yeah, like a right child, a bit of arrested development there, like I think. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it really sort of transported me back to my youth there. Okay. Mm. And yeah, what about you? I remember the physical books. My mum was a huge fan, and I can't quite get the sequence right in my head. I grew up in Wellington, so when I was in primary school, they started making the trilogy, the Peter Jackson trilogy, and I'm not sure if she already had the books or if they were brought into the house because yeah. this is happening where we live. Um, but she'd known them all her life. And I remember looking at them being like, well, those are long. I mean, that's daunting. But then there was a guy at my primary school who said he read them every summer, and I was like, well, if he can do it, I can do it. And then I got into it and I went, oh, it's pretty good stuff, actually. Pretty good stuff. And then, yeah, when the movies came out, that was... Massive. That was a huge point of national pride as a New Zealander. My first memory of Tolkien, just like you, I was a fan of the books when I was a kid. I used to read them religiously at home um, and fell in love with um, Tolkien's world and particularly his language and his lyricism and his poetry. And then, um, and then I watched the movies um, uh, many years later and just thought they were brilliant and epic and all the things and had the essence of what Tolkien was trying to create. Um, and so then when I found out that I was walking personally into Middle Earth, I mean, it was just an absolute dream come true. But I will say that um, even having lived with Tolkien all my life, once I got onto the Rings of Power set and discovered how much more there was to learn and all the people that on our show were so versed in the wider um, legendarium, that was really fascinating mm. to me. I think that has been fascinating to, to, to take, you know, this second age story, this new story that people haven't really heard before, um, and to view it 
and all these different pieces of source material that, that, that people might not know and sort of go, oh, hold on a second, I can find that out from this book or from that story, from this unpublished tale or from this bit of appendices. And, you know, you can, you can extrapolate these things into the second age and see how they resonate through. And that, that level of, you talked about myths a bit and legends, mm -hmm. and that, that level of complexity and depth and richness, I think, is, for me as an actor, is really exciting. Because mm. it means you can, you can just research and keep getting your fingers deeper and deeper into the earth of the story. And hopefully mm. that, that makes what the audience see mm. more and more real and believable. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think my first access was that great British radio mm -hmm. drama that was done. But also my two older half-brothers were who were massive Dungeons and Dragons. That's how I knew them. I knew them as these half-brothers that I don't really know who play Dungeons and Dragons all the time. <laughs> and um, they were both obsessed with the books and they were both very sophisticated, very big minds, kind of big literary minds. So my association was sort of, was sort of the wonder of a world that I didn't know about, that only really intelligent people dive into. And then I got to hear the radio play and became obsessed. And then for me, the movies was a turning point of mm -hmm. just complete sort of ad adoration for the whole world. The earliest memory I have in his universe was actually playing the PlayStation games, the video <laughs> games, yeah, with my brother. Um, <laughs> and trying to open the minds of Moria and being stuck on that level for hours, days even. Um, I, strangely enough, I remember that before I remember the, when I watched the films um, mm. or read the books. Um, I was very lucky that my dad read The Hobbit to me when I was nine. And um, I loved it and ended up finishing it myself and felt kind of very grown up because this seemed like a... Mm -hmm. And I, I think it was I, the maps also I just loved yeah. as a child. And how important it was for you as actors um, to know something about Tolkien, I, I guess in a different way, uh, you know, for the series, for your experience on the set. It, it's something important because famously Elijah Wood never, never yeah. read the books, so <laughs> every actor has a different approach. Yeah, I think I would be, I, I could never um, advise any other actors on their on how they approach their work because everyone is so different um, mm -hmm. in their approach. I know for me, it meant a lot for me to read and immerse myself in the world. Um, and that's not just restricted to reading um, as much as you can. There's so many other adaptations and m music to listen to. Um, yeah. And also being in New Zealand where such a large part of this world has been adapted visually. Um, so I drew a lot of inspiration from the physical environment as well. But I found it really important. But that's just for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I also went to, kind of went to the books and to... Um, I also um, went to kind of podcasts and TikTok as well because I, I, I like to hear people discussing things. Mm. Um, so that was really interesting. Um, and also just there's been so much art inspired by Tolkien and particularly of Gladriel. So... Um, it was really nice to kind of look at all of them. But no, I, I got the audiobooks of um, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings and The Silmarillion and just had them on all the time just <laughs> to kind of get the feeling because so much of it is the feeling of Middle Earth and so it wasn't necessarily character rigid research. It was just the whole feeling of it all. Mm -hmm. 